will never have any room again. Sean Hollenbeck was among the mourners at the Arizona State Capitol building on Wednesday. I was in uh, line with him on that, and uh, it was profoundly moving, you know, to watch him salute the casket. So sad. Betty Habitel waited in line for nearly two hours. She said it was an honor. To be in the presence of someone that served our country for 30 years, which is amazing, um, the words that would describe it. Wednesday would have been Senator McCain's 82nd birthday, but instead of a celebration, his family gathered for a goodbye. Cindy McCain, his wife of 38 years, was joined by his seven children at a private service held in the morning. One of the speakers was Arizona Governor Doug Ducey. Imagining Arizona without John McCain is like picturing an Arizona without <laughs> Officials say the state capitol building would be kept open as long as mourners were still waiting to pay their respects to the senator. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Phoenix, Arizona. Another memorial for McCain will be held tomorrow at the North Phoenix Baptist Church. Former Vice President Joe Biden is scheduled to speak at that service. Health officials think fentanyl was to blame for sickening two dozen prison staffers and an inmate in Ohio. The doctors in Chillicothe say in most cases symptoms were mild, but one person was not unconscious. Now investigators are working to determine where the fentanyl came from. Meanwhile, all prisons in Maitland and Pennsylvania are locked down tonight as investigators try to figure out what's making corrections officers there sick. They say in the last month, nearly 30 employees at 10 prisons have become ill. The prisoners have been back some They may be blind. They do not think that they mm -hmm. are going to defend all over the mm -hmm. Ohio. The two West Virginia counties are getting federal money to buy drug abuse. The White House Drug Policy Office awarded $125,000 grant to both Kalamazoo and Allegheny County. Counties will use that money to promote youth substance abuse and opioid prevention programs. Some senators are turning up the heat on drug makers, pushing to require them to list drug prices in television ads. As Circus Russ Reed shows us, the pressure is coming from both sides of the aisle. If you're going to run a drug ad, a bipartisan amendment has been added to Congress's health and human spending bill, which would require drug manufacturers to list prices in television ads. It's part of the effort to stem the rising cost of prescriptions in the U.S. If um, we're displaying these prices, there might be a little bit of a visceral uh, reaction from the general public, and that might get them taken out of lower prices. A report by IHS Market found that select drugs sold in the U.S. cost an average of 56% less in similar countries. There are many reasons for that, but price transparency plays a major factor. Um, there are a lot of different players that go into getting products from um, research to a patient. And we want to see who is taking a cut where, how can we help reduce prices and have those on for patients. The Trump administration has a blueprint for lowering drug costs for patients currently under review by the Office of Management and Budget. But Grassley and Durbin hope their amendment will make an impact now. So we have an opportunity now to do what we all talk about at home. Doing something that's at the cost of pharmaceutical drugs. And this is just a very small step in that direction. Close to it. 
and that means the air is going to be quite sticky. Three-day fast cast here, storms possible on Saturday. They could move in as early, I think, as late Friday night. However, I think that will come after the Broncos' big game. More on that game forecast in a moment. Saturday, we could see a couple of those showers and storms as our high temperature hits 84 degrees. Speaking of, the Broncos' home opener. It is football season, ready to go to Waldo. Friday night kickoff, note, at 6 o'clock against Syracuse. The Orange coming to town, 77 at kickoff time. Last play of the game, partly cloudy, maybe mostly cloudy, but still comfortable at 70. Let's take a live look right now in downtown Kalamazoo as we look out from our Peregrine Tower Cam. As you can see, it is a gorgeous and quiet night. All the lights on right now and comfortable too. How about the sunset in West Michigan? So many folks sharing some photos. I'm going to share one with you in just a moment, but look at this time lapse here. This from our News Channel 3 videographer, Jake Harris. Watch these colors just explode here. This was taken in Kalamazoo, actually, right behind the News Channel 3 studio. You can see the dish from one of our satellite trucks, there are live trucks, I should say, right there in that shot. What a gorgeous view. Here's another view of it, too. I'm curious if sunset here from Cindy and Lawrence, who sent me this via Twitter. Thanks so much for sharing this picture, Cindy. Don't forget, we love to see your pics. You can chime in on our app. Just go to the Explorer section, and you'll see it. And you'll also see the Chime In tab on our web page. Either way. You can share with us. 59 comfortable degrees right now in Allegheny Grand Rapids, still low 60s in Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, Hastings, and also in South David. Highs today, only low in mid 70s along the lake shore and inland to Grand Rapids, upper 70s, low 80s. Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, still just the warm spot today at 83 degrees. Satellite radar storm tracker, there's nothing going on here. Our skies are actually in the process of clearing. That's going to give us mostly clear skies for tonight. It's going to be a gorgeous evening. And as I mentioned earlier, certainly one where you can open up that window and enjoy the overnight low. 54 degrees with just a light north breeze. For tomorrow, mostly sunny and pleasant. High of 72. You know, the typical highs in the upper 70s are around 80. So we'll be cooler than that. Uh, tomorrow, not bad on the Big Lake. The winds out of the northeast of 5 to 10. Good swimming conditions. Those water temperatures are likely to be coming down. And here's your seven day. There's that chance for rain building in here for Saturday. And we could even see some scattered showers. The storm Sunday and Monday. I know it's a holiday week, and we don't hear that, but also it's going to be quite here. And so, you know, our relief from the community is not going to last. We all see such beautiful shots of the sky, but we've got Hannah John photographer Jason. Oh, it's all of a sudden. Boom, it's all of a sudden. All right, we'll talk about an unbearable day at work.